Hi everyone, welcome back to Radiology Short Cases. In today's lecture, we have normal chest X-ray interpretation. So it will be in two parts. We will be learning about the basics of chest X-ray, how to identify the normal technical quality, and secondly, what are the normal cardiothoracic anatomical structures and how to look for a lesion. So in this part, we will be discussing mainly about the chest projections and technical quality. So normal chest projections which we use are PA view, which is also known as posterior anterior view, AP view, anterior posterior view, lateral projection, apical lordotic view to evaluate suspicious areas within the lung epices which are generally obscured because of soft tissues, upper ribs or clavicles. And lastly, lateral decubitus view which is rarely used to demonstrate small pleural effusions or for the investigation of pneumothorax and air trapping due to inhaled foreign bodies. So how do we take PA view? PA view is generally used and in this the X-ray tube is posterior to the patient. Patient is standing erect facing the film. Direction of the X-ray beam is from posterior to anterior. The patient is chin is raised up and shoulders are rotated anteriorly so that the scapulae don't overlie the lung fields. So this is the corresponding PA view. Here we can see the mediastinum and uh, cardiac structures are in midline and lung fields are symmetric and they are in full inspiration. Anterior posterior view is generally used in emergency or patients who are in ICU or very sick who cannot stand. So in this, what we do, the X-ray film is placed posteriorly. Patient is supine in position. As patient is supine, so uh, it patient is facing the X-ray tube. So direction of the X-ray beam is from anterior to posterior. Therefore, in this view, the heart may appear enlarged because of two reasons. One is that the distance between the heart and image receptor is more and secondly because of beam divergence. So there are certain differentiating points between PA and AP view. First is the clavicles over the lung fields in PA view whereas in AP view the clavicles are above the lung epicis and scapulae as they are rotated so they will be up away from the lung fields in PA view therefore the lung will be better seen on PA view. On AP view, the scapulae will overlie the lung fields, so we may miss some findings. Also, the ribs in the PA view are, uh, the posterior ribs are more distinct because the X-ray beam is from posterior to anterior, whereas in AP view, the anterior ribs will be distinct because of the anterior, uh, anterior to posterior direction of the X-ray. As I have already described, in AP view, the heart will be more magnified or enlarged. So it will be uh, difficult to comment upon the heart size on the AP view. Next is technical quality. So before moving to technical quality, first in the PA view, you need to check the patient name or ID and date of the examination. Then ask for the prior radiographs and reports to compare the current study. Then uh, after that comes the technical quality. So in technical quality, uh, there, are, there is a mnemonic which is RIPE. R stands for rotation. I stands for inspiration. P is projection. E is exposure. So one by one we will talk about it. So in a well-centered PHST X-ray view where there is no rotation, the spinous process should be halfway between the medial end of the clavicles. Here we can see that this is the medial end of the clavicle. This is a spinous process. So they are equidistant from each other. So this is a well-centered chest X-ray. If the medial end of the left clavicle is nearer to the spinous process, then the film is considered to be rotated towards left and vice versa. Also, if the patient is rotated to the left of the heart, the heart may appear enlarged. And if the patient is rotated to the right, then it may, sorry, if heart is rotated to the right, its size may be underestimated. Therefore, the rotation of the X-ray is important to look for. Next is inspiration. 
as the x-ray radiograph is taken in full inspiration so in full inspiration the diaphragm will overlie anteriorly along the fifth to six intercostal spaces and posteriorly um, around 10th rib in mid clavicular line degree of inspiration is important because if the less ribs are visible then the uh, uh, radiograph is not in full inspiration if more ribs are visible then it is hyperinflated or overinflated film so if the uh, poor inspiratory effort is there then heart may appear larger you might see basal shadowing and also it can cause trachea to deviate it towards the right side next is exposure or which can be over in penetrated film or under penetrated film to look for the exposure what we have to see we look at the lower part of the cardiac shadow here the vertebral bodies are just visible through the cardiac shadow at this point if the vertebral bodies are very clearly visible then this means that the film is over penetrated and in that case the film will appear more black and the low density lesions might be missed and if you cannot see the vertebral body then it means that film is under penetrated and lung will appear more white that also is a problem so exposure of the film is really important to look for the lesions properly now there are certain review areas in the radiograph which are also known as hidden areas so it is important to look at these areas so there is a uh, a b c d e f uh, mnemonic so a stands for lung epicels so look at the lung epicels you might see any apical pleural effusion or any apical plaque or apical mass also then b stands for behind the heart look at the behind look at behind the heart because you might see any consolidation or collapse then c stands for costophrenic or cardiophrenic angles d stands for diaphragms below and above the diaphragms you have to look for any pathology e stands for everything else like bones implants and f stands for foreign bodies like there might be presence of metallic bullets or any other foreign body within the radiograph with this i will end this part and we will see you in next uh, part thank you for watching and keep learning with me